Hello, in this tutorial we'll see one very nice plugin called Security Ninja. It is a reporting plugin and it will tell you what exactly you need to do in order to secure your WordPress site. Okay, so it's not a free plugin, it is $10 and you can download it from codecanyon.net. Okay, it's a very nice plugin if you want to have a uh, protected WordPress site, I would suggest to buy this plugin in and install it on your site or on your websites. Uh, you can install it on as many websites as you wish. And let's see, it can perform 31 tests, including for brute force attacks. You can check your site for security vulnerabilities. It can you take you can take preventive measures against attacks and it can prevent zero-day exploit attacks. Uh, the plugin can also include code snippets for quick fixes and of course uh, the support is provided. Alright, so this plugin also have uh, two add-ons. The first one is called Core Scanner and the second one is Scheduler Scanner. You can uh, buy them as well. Each of them costs $5.00 so you can uh, protect your core files. Okay, so uh, I've already installed this plugin. Uh, it has very nice documentation which you can read after you buy the plugin. And here you can see how to use it, how to uh, install it and some suggestions and frequently asked questions such as will this plugin slow down my site absolutely not will it work on any theme any theme yes sure will it work with my plugins yes and I've been using this plugin on uh, almost all of my sites so uh, I've never seen a problem with this plugin so let's see the plugin in action So here's the plugin itself, Security Ninja, and here's the Core Scanner add-on. First of all, you will need to analyze your site. Just click on Analyze and run a scanner. You can run the tests here, and it will go through all of your site to analyze all of your problems. And of course, uh, whenever you are um, checking all these problems and repair all the stuff which is mentioned here uh, it will show the status is ok there are two statuses one is ok and the other is bad so you will need to repair ok so uh, let's see we have uh, 31 tests we have ok's and we have some bad issues we won't go through all of them but let's see some stuff Okay, so bad. The check uh, the theme is up to is not updated, so we'll need to update the the theme of the site. Also, uh, check if full WordPress version info is revealed in the pages metadata, and if we click on details, tips, and help, we will see what we need uh, to do. For example, here check if full. Uh, WordPress version info is revealed in your uh, page metadata. So here we'll need to go to a function to our FTP program and find this file functions PHP and remove the header meta version info. All right. So mm, let's see some other issues. Okay. So check if readme file is accessible via HTTP on the default location. All right, so let's uh, improve this one. Here's the site, and for example, here's the README file. README HTML. So just change some numbers, and if we run the test again, it won't show up. So let's try it. OK, 
okay so now it's fine the readme file is not there and we can go through all of these for example here check if database table prefix is the default one you must be very careful with this one for example if your site is brand new you can play with this one and change the prefix but uh, if it's an old one I would suggest not to change this stuff okay check if upgrade PHP file is accessible and here's the suggestion which needs to be done okay also we have the core scanner this add-on here and we can use it for uh, improving our security okay let's see some other tests it says that uh, WP config PHP is present on the default location and basically what would I suggest in HTT access file you should add some lines to protect your WP config file so it won't be visible okay here says that check if plugin themes file editor is enabled and if we click on details we will see that uh, we should download functions PHP file and uh, disallow uh, this um, editor this editor is under appearance and it is here in this submenu alright so let's do this simple task we'll go through the files and find this file okay so here it is alright so you can use your text editor in my case this is notepad plus plus and let's see the functions PHP file alright here it is and let's follow the suggestions of security ninja so we'll need to find this file okay so let's read again so we'll need to put this code not to change it so let's follow the suggestions and let's put it here so this allow file edit and let's upload the file now and let's refresh our page there are some themes which uh, have this option in the functions PHP but in this particular theme it wasn't there so when we uh, navigate to appearance we see that the editor is not there so it's not accessible to nobody alright so let's do the check again and we will see that this option is now ok alright so let's check now Now, as you can see, check if plugin Steam file editor is enabled. Now it is OK. All right, so you can go through all of these suggestions and uh, change from bad to OK. All right, so I would highly recommend this plugin for your protection and security. And you can visit my site tutorial7.com to learn more about WordPress security, about Joomla, search engine optimization and web design. Thank you very much for watching this video.